another fun fact for you. So all the potatoes that McDonald's uses mm -hmm. are from Idaho, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forget what they're called, but there's some sort of golden potato. But anyways, uh, they don't grow very well because of all the uh, bugs that can kill them. But they're worth a ton of money because McDonald's buys all of them. Except for the ones that are imperfected. Like, McDonald's is actually very picky with their potatoes. It's because they're long. So, they're long. Whole, yeah, potatoes. they're long. So, they actually fill these potatoes with pesticides. And they have to sit for six months in silos yeah. to allow the pesticides to I did hear that, actually. Away. Um, wow. McDonald's, McDonald's, yeah, the McDonald's fries. Basically, this stuff will kill you with this amount of pesticides, and wow. it has like a long half life. So these potatoes sit in like basically unripened warehouses months. for months. Uh, ah. Ah. Did you know that Saskatchewan, where I live, supplies the world seventy percent of green lentils? Wait, you you grow lentils? I in love Saskatchewan? lentils. <laughs> Just yeah, put Saskatchewan that out supplies the world source with seventy percent of its green lentils. We are one of the top exporters of uranium. We are the top exporters of potash, uh, as well as we have a what is potash? Of diamond mine. Uh, potash is basically like fertilizer. Right, right. Um, diamonds, diamonds is weird, but I suppose in your geography of uh, like if you look at if you guys look at uh, Canada, we itself, also have the it's... oldest ever discovered, I believe, T Rex skeleton here. Oh my god! Wow. If you look at yeah. if you look at um like. Canada's geography, it's very messed up. Like the whole thing's like blown up. Okay, you look, to... You're being very offensive about geography in this podcast. No, no, don't no. Okay. Yeah, it. like you have a big fucking rock in the middle of your country, man. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. Okay, I get that. But I'm saying like in Canada, it looks like a meteor's hit half of like a thing and half like half your country is glacier, right? He's drawing so again. Half your country is like, this big bowl. <laughs> northeast corner. It's just like just basically lakes or basically the ocean. I don't know the uh uh solidity of that place but it'd be salty as um whereas australia is very 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 old soil kind um, like you salty as that's right uh, <laughs> if you look at australia like we have one of the oldest soils and a lot of it's infertile because the soil is like the only stuff that's like remained is like the heavier elements which is like iron and other things um you, you told me about that thanks uh, about like how Did I? yes australian soil especially in south australia because there's no fault lines um there's no new nutrients uh, yeah, I get. Yeah, I magma. guess that's true in that logic. So there's there's double edged sword. It's very hard to grow stuff because the nutrients are like old, and then like there's not much because of the old vegetation's taken it out. Second thing is no fault lines. So the good thing is there's no earthquakes. There won't be uh, well, I, no. There's minimized, minimal earthquakes. Minimal we do still earthquakes. get earthquakes, but but because it's not on the fault line, it doesn't matter as much because all Australia is kind of sitting on a. We don't really get earthquakes here. The only time we do is when the mine collapses literally under our city mm -hmm. you have wait a mine under your city yeah for potash why has saskatchewan got a mine underneath its city saskatoon uh it's the quarry mine so it just goes underneath the city it doesn't go underneath the whole thing it just goes underneath certain sections and it's because there's just potash under there so they mine it out right that's that's one thing i'm so confused about like i don't i'm, I'm a big stupid meathead but how do how do like mines not collapse or like tunnels not collapse underneath like you got you got like a layer you got like you know you've you got a city here you got a big tunnel going underneath the city why doesn't it collapse underneath the weight <laughs> you know what i mean uh what you have to realize is that yeah if they hold it out completely underneath then yeah but the soil's so packed together that it actually creates kind of like a reinforcement and also probably under the mine certain mines i'd assume they would build reinforcements to hold it up right yeah i mean i would love to look, look into that because like it scares me so much to go into a mine or something like that like imagine it like especially like the water shelves and water shelves aren't necessarily like a big layer of water it's kind of like connected little connected veins um underneath mm -hmm. but that's the same thing some places like some parts have like just a big tunnel of just the water just sitting underneath um like say a city or something like that it's a big water shelf just like sitting there I'm like how's it there why is it not collapsing like it could collapse any day now um were we i don't remember but i think we were there when the we left a day before so in malaysia in 2015 there was a big tunnel collapse a big big collapse you didn't go to malaysia. In 2014, yeah. yeah. In 2014, there was a big uh, tunnel collapse, basically right outside where our hotel was. Um, there was this 
I don't know, maybe a hundred meter collapse intersection just collapsed, and we could we were looking at that intersection, and we could have seen being there when it happened. We left the day before it happened, um, but that would have been whack to see. Thing just. <laughs> Yeah, when I was in San Francisco, there was like a 3.8 uh, earthquake. It was really cool. The whole wow. building shook. That's what, that's, the, that's what scares me the most, I think, uh, me personally. about. Um, well, you want the building to shake. We want the building to sway. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't collapse. then it moves with the earthquake. Yeah. If the building just starts to shake, then I don't know. 